five, six, seven, <laughs> slipping. Ah! Ah! This does not feel very secure. Ah! Hey guys, it's Tian. A very happy new year to everybody. A while ago, I did a beginner's guide to home workout equipment. And since then, I found a lot of new equipment and I'm going to try them out today. Over here, I have a weighted hula hoop. So I saw this on TikTok. I really don't know how effective the hula hooping is, but they show these amazing before and after videos. I don't know if it's from the hula hooping, who knows. But you know, this device is interesting. It has this pink color weight attached to it. It even comes with this timer over here. So you can show how many rounds the weight went. So as compared to normal hula hoops, you know, those drop and require a lot of techniques. I reckon that this is great for people who actually don't really know how to hula hoop because it fits around your waist and it won't fall down. Okay, so I have the weighted hula hoop strapped to my waist and I'm going to start. My goal is to hit at least 50. I think just money aside, this looks like such a ridiculous contraction. There's no way I'm going to do this in private or in public. I feel embarrassed doing it by myself. So how it's marketed, it looks as though it helps you to get a smaller waist. So it's supposed to be like a waist ab strengthening sort of exercise. I don't think it really does that. For me, I think it's more of like a cardio. I feel like normal hula hoop is way more difficult and it's going to challenge your abs a lot more because you're really forced to balance the hula hoop out you're supposed to train your speed. I think that something like this, you feel that sensation of having weight around your waist, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you are engaging the right muscles necessary for a core exercise. And guys, if you want a smaller waist, remember that you cannot spot reduce your fat loss. If you want to reduce your belly fat, you have to make sure that you are reducing your overall body fat. And that is through the HO principle of calories in versus calories out. Make sure that you are expanding more calories that you are consuming and if you want to strengthen your core muscles then planks, crunches and good old simple ab exercises will do the trick. This is a leg clamp trainer and it has a lot of great reviews online. I would liken this to a gym equipment called the hip adductor. So it's this exercise where you sit, you close your legs together. It's one of those very weird exercises that you don't want to be making eye contact with people with when you're doing. It says on the website that if you get the form down, you can do this during daily activities like studying or working or watching TV. In terms of quality, it does feel pretty durable. So let's try it out. So this equipment actually comes with a video that shows you how you can use it in all different kinds of positions But today I will be trying the bridge and seated workout So I'm gonna be trying the bridge position and in the video It's meant to be this way like pointing upwards, but it kind of seems a bit counterintuitive I thought I would just kind of follow the lines of my legs, but let's try it this way two three four five six <laughs> slipping. Ah! Ah! This does not feel very secure. Ah! I think this feels like it's gonna be a lot better if I just do it this way. I definitely feel the burn in my inner thighs because this is a muscle that is very hard to target. I can literally feel my inner thighs shaking. The next one is a seated adductor. I'm meant to put it between my inner thighs and squeeze like that. Make sure you lock your door. <laughs> you don't want someone to just randomly walk into your room and wonder what you're doing. <laughs> and like, I feel like it's gonna pop out. It's gonna pop out of my inner thighs. Don't think that this is the right way. You should just put it this way. Much better this way. But it's also quite painful. I think because this foam, right, is not very soft. It's pressing into my skin. So it's not a very pleasant feeling. Like, I feel like I'm not really working the muscle. It's, it's kind of tugging at the skin. I was really excited to try this piece of equipment because it does help with your Kegel exercises. And for those of you who don't know what Kegels are, they are your pelvic muscle exercises. This is an area that a lot of women and even men, I feel, neglect. You want to strengthen those muscles because, you know, a lot of people have um, weaker bladders as they grow older. So I actually learned this from like my gynecologist a long time ago. Imagine that you are putting a coin between your butt cheek and you are squeezing the coin with your two butt cheeks. So you can do this like when you're sitting down at your desk or at, um, you know, you're driving your car or whatever. Um, and you just like squeeze and you just squeeze and you hold for maybe three to five seconds and you release. You squeeze and you hold for three to five seconds and you release. And it's really important to strengthen this area because it is an area that gets weakened over time. I mean, it's a $5 piece of equipment, so you kind of get what you pay for. There really isn't anything super fancy about it. So if you want to try it out, then maybe you could just have this as a little something you keep next to your couch or your desk. But I personally wouldn't buy it. 
anything beyond the bridge exercise, which I feel like I can get the same kind of sensation if I just put a ball between my legs or if I were to use the resistance band and do those like adductor exercises, I think it could do something very similar. This is a foldable push-up board and it's a board that helps with your form. Over here you see all these colourful lines and it comes with these two handles. So you're meant to work different muscle groups according to the different colours and you can train the different variations of the push-up. Based on the appearance, it looks very useful for beginners, especially people when they do push-ups, they say that they have a lot of pain in their uh, wrists. I think that having handlebars definitely helps to alleviate those issues. And because it has these different colours, so I think it's great for beginners because they might not know what variation of push-up to do when they're first starting out. It comes with this instruction sheet but I think this is pretty self-explanatory so let's try it out. So I've laid out the push-up board and I'm gonna start off working my chest and these are the blue lines laid out over here I'm meant to follow. But for your chest you want to start off with a close grip and then work your way out. Oh, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> so the problem here is that I can't put the board on the yoga mat because I feel like it's going to crack, it's uneven. And if I put it on the floor, it feels really slippery and it does not feel safe at all. So what I'm going to do is put this on top of the yoga mat for some friction at the bottom and then my knees and my body will just not have the cushioning. It's still not even. I don't think it's a good idea for me to do push-ups in this position. I feel like with the wider grip, the board is just not going to hold the weight and it's going to fold and crack. With a closer stance, it does work, but at the same time, you know, it is not good because I still have to have like some weight underneath my knees, especially if you're doing a lot of push-ups. And I feel like if you wanted to do this, you have to have like two yoga mats. I'm gonna move on to shoulders now. Okay, I tell you what it is. I don't like this. I feel that everybody's body proportion is different. I felt that this is way too close grip for me to be working my shoulders. I felt this a lot in my chest and I don't think that I need to be doing my push-ups like so narrow. It is more challenging but then like I rather not suffer my form in order for me to do something that is more challenging. When I'm doing push-up that targets my shoulders, I rather it be more like parallel to where my biceps are so that I'm working my shoulders and my biceps. It's not like a one-size-fits-all when it comes to push-ups. That is why when you have push-up bars, you are able to adjust it for yourself and I think that this is too restrictive. This position is meant to be for your back. This is so weird guys, in my 8 years as a personal trainer, I have never ever gotten or even personally done a push-up that looks like this. Like how do you even, what, how do I grip it? Like do I grip it like this? Like this? Like why would I do that? I think that that's just a very strange variation of a push-up that I'm keen to know more about but I reckon that if I was going to work my back, I'd rather do like a pulling exercise, like a let's pull down or use a resistance band and do a row. My overall assessment of this is that I would not recommend anyone buy it. Firstly, it's just super flimsy. If you don't use this properly, you can actually break this because it's made of plastic. It also comes with very strange variations of push-ups, which I personally don't do myself and I think there are better exercises for it. Just do your good old push-ups, just practice your normal push-ups, you know, floor push-ups, you know, by your side, you can try wider, you can try narrower, try against the wall if you're a beginner, try against a table or the bed if you don't feel too confident doing it on the floor. Um, yeah, and then that's how you work your way up to a full push-up. You know, if you buy this thinking like, okay, I'm going to train my push-ups with it, it's, it's going to be a disappointment. This is a multifunctional portable Pilates bar. This can substitute various gym equipment like barbells, weights, and even cables. This is suitable for people of all fitness levels and can really get a full body workout from using just this. I have seen older people use this equipment. I know that this particular product was very big in the 90s or something like that. So it is quite a data equipment that I am rediscovering now. With this equipment, you can adjust the intensity level based on the length of the resistance band. It has these two handles at the side for you to hold on to with your legs or even your hands. So I've attached the bands to my feet and I'm going to put this two together. There's some photos on their listing showing a bunch of exercises that you can do and I'm going to try some of them out. This exercise I'm going to try is actually a ab exercise and they are leg raises but to make it more difficult, I'm suspending my legs on these resistance bands. I don't know, if anything actually this makes the ab exercise easier because with the resistance on my legs, I feel like my legs kind of spring up faster than if I were to just use like body weight, you know? This is another exercise and it's a glute kickback. Honestly, there's not much of a resistance. 
Alright, now I'm gonna try some back squats and I'm gonna use this as a substitute for my barbell. Overall, I do not feel any resistance from the tubing. The bar is good in keeping my back straight, but other than that, there's little to no resistance. And if I wanted to adjust the resistance, I would have to tie the tubing over here. And then if it's too tight, then I'll have to adjust it. And it's just way too troublesome for something that really doesn't have much of an effect on my exercise. I would say that if you are doing a exercise like shoulder presses, you know, I do feel the resistance against my shoulders and my arms. So I can see the benefits of this for this particular exercise, which is the shoulder press. Overall, cumbersome, troublesome. And if I'm being very honest, I rather use my resistance bands, the no sweat ones, to add resistance to my legs or my upper body because it's smaller, it's compact, it's versatile, and I can bring it everywhere and not have to bring these two baton looking stuff. Bala was started in 2018 after the founders, a husband and wife pair, noticed how dated some fitness equipment had become and how nobody uses them because they are ugly. So they came up with Bala Bangles, stylish weighted bands for your wrist or ankles. These Bala Bangles have been highly waved on Instagram and news articles with a lot of good reviews. They can be worn during your workouts or even recreational activities. So I have actually watched them, I think they were on this TV show called Shark Tank and I thought that they were really interesting idea because I do agree that sometimes the heavy weights can be kind of like cumbersome and a bit intimidating to start with. I remember in the last video where I reviewed the home workout equipment, we did those ankle and wrist straps. They can be kind of bulky and not as aesthetically pleasing but if you wore something like this you know it looks pretty unassuming it looks just like a big bangle and if you were to you know do activities outdoors like going supermarket shopping or just walking your dog it doesn't look like you are wearing weights they come in one or two pounds in a variety of colors but today i am trying the one pound version in black each pack comes with two bangles and it's made of this very soft silicon material with a strong velcro at the back in general, my first impression is that it looks very sleek and cool. Can't wait to try. Alright, I have the Bala bangles on and I've got to say that they are really lightweight. I am not going to use them as my conventional dumbbells, so I'm not going to need them for my bicep curls or my presses. In fact, I'm just going to be leaving them on as an add-on. Instead of just doing my workout completely body weight, I'm going to be leaving these on the whole time. And I'm going to be testing this out with a workout from the No Sweat app. First exercise, air squats. It doesn't seem like very heavy weights and after a few repetitions, I can kind of feel a bit of a resistance against my arms. Next up, I'm gonna do the jumping jack. So I have my timer over here, 30 seconds on the clock. So it's a light weight, but when you start using it for your cardio and jumping jacks, you can feel the resistance. I'm gonna try some air boxing, which is another cardio intensive workout and it's also gonna work my upper body. My overall assessment of these Bawa Bangles is that they are great for giving you resistance when you are doing cardio workouts. I wouldn't say that they are the best in terms of strength training for your upper body. So I still do recommend you use like resistance bands which gives you more of that weight um, or even with like dumbbells or heavier objects to really build your strength. I would say that for the price point, it's like $73. I personally find it a bit too steep for one pound weights. But uh, the look and feel is super premium. It belongs on one of those premium yoga sites like Elo Yoga. If you are considering something light to add to your cardio, then this could be something that you might want to try. My overall thoughts after trying all these products is that simple is really a lot better sometimes. I had very high hopes for these equipments, especially the push-up board. I was like, oh wow, there's a, a way that people can you know, improve their push-ups if you're a beginner. I realized that you know simple is a lot better if you know the form of the workout and you just have like mini supplements. Like I feel like with no sweat, we've come up with no sweat resistance bands and like the small like massage balls and even like the yoga mats. I feel like they Things like that are simple and accessible and easy to store and versatile whereas these are very specific to like a certain part of your body and just very difficult to put together and takes up way too much space it's too much of a barrier to exercise so i think out of all of them the only one i would personally use is the bala bangles maybe price point aside because some of these equipment were really affordable and 
doesn't seem like much of an expense but I just know after trying them out for a couple of times for my workouts they're gonna turn into white elephants in my house so yeah be very discerning you know even if you're watching TikTok and then you see this girl spin the hula hoop for 100 days and suddenly her waist so small um, just know that it wasn't the hula hoop and I can tell you that it wasn't the hula hoop that's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me try on all these cool contraptions. And if you have any other fitness related things you want me to try out, please do leave it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're looking for a fuss free, simple workout to try, then go and check out the No Sweat app. With the No Sweat app, you'll get personalized workouts that are tailored to your fitness goals. You'll get one on one fitness lessons from me. And yes, I do personally respond to each and every single one of you. So if any questions about your own routine or your diet, then and do drop me a message over there. You'll get access to live stream chats and workouts and even exclusive invites to our meet and greet sessions. The app is completely free to download and comes with a 7 day trial. After your 7 day trial is over, you have the option of signing up for a 1 year, 3 month or 1 month plan. And if you sign up for a 1 year plan, you also get a free set of no sweat resistance bands. We also have other supplements for your home workout, so head on to our no sweat merch store to check them out. Lastly, with all our other videos, please remember to give this one a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you never miss a notification every time we post a new video. Or you can download the Click Network app to watch our videos over there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye!